Hello, welcome to another video of one of my favorite magazine. It is Erie Issue 7. Insanely tough magazine to find in high grade because of this black cover. This one is about, I say, 7 5 ish. It's a bunch of uh, spine ticks. But as far as corners and edge, gorgeous. My kind of mid grade. Look up, take a look at this beautiful gray moral drawing. Now, this magazine is one of my favorite because it contains a whole bunch of short, not to my liking. I prefer longer stories, but this one has a ton of little short story by many of my favorite artists. First up is Gene Colan. This magazine came out in 1966. Okay, so you know, even at this stage, for those that are familiar with Gene Colan's work, it's obvious that it's really hard. Look at that. That's a beautiful, sexy-looking woman. From Gene, not something that he's known for, right? But look at that. I love the style. It's just fantastic. I said this in so many videos, so I'm going to repeat myself. Gene Colon's style is so good. So good in black and white. It is best to enjoy his art in black and white. No doubt in my mind. Look at this panel. The use of uh, gray wash is enhance the look of the, the dark uh, pencil and ink. Love it. And then Dan Atkins, look at this. You know me, I'm a big fan of Dan Atkins. Such beautiful drawing. Look at that. Look at how tight the lines are. Okay, that's that's something about Dan Atkins very different from Gene Colon, okay? Great contrast between the first um, story and the second story. Here you have a completely different style. Equally beautiful. By the time that you are watching this, hopefully you have guessed the right artist. When I was, um, when I picked out this magazine to do guess the artist video, I knew right away that I wanted to do two. Instead of the traditional one artist. I love that, look at that. Now this is one that I'm not very familiar with, Hector Castellan. So I definitely will keep my eyes out on uh, other other, uh, other works that he had done because I like it. It's once again three in a row. You have another very different style. This one is so unique. I don't love it, but I like it. Check this out. Check out those two panels, huh? Love it. Interesting, you know, it's just I love to see different style of drawing. So I wanted to use Dan Atkins. And then I want to use another, a second artist for the guess the artist video, and I will show you who it was that I almost used. Look at this! Damn, don't I wish I back order the full issue of Blazing Combats. Damn. 
so hard to find. Here is the one. Here is the one artist that I almost picked for the second one. Can anyone guess? Look at that gorgeous panel. Look at that. Johnny Craig. Love it. Just look at this. think would anyone guess it right I did not the first time I flipped through this book uh, real quickly and um, what I normally do whenever I buy a horror magazine is I f try to flip through it real quick and not look at the credit just to see if I was able to spot the artist, and often I can. You know, I have uh, flipped through enough black and white magazine over the past three years to get very familiar with many artists. But when it comes down to Johnny Craig, definitely not. Check this one out, Steve Ditko. Check out this panel. Vintage Ditko gray wash. It's just beautiful work, right? As I have mentioned in um, my spotlight on Steve Ditko, that I favor his work in the black and white horror magazine, especially when it's done in this format more than his work even in Spider-Man. Just love it. You see why this is one of my favorite magazine? Chock full of greatness. Albeit very short story. Next you have Donald Norman. Not a big name, but still a pretty cool short story. Love that panel right there. Once again, once again, not a very well-known big name artist, but the work is pretty good. What do you think? Just love this. Fantastic. We are going on to the last story. And here is the second artist. Did anyone get this right? Jerry Grenanetti. For those that are big DC war fan, you are familiar you should be familiar with his great covers that he did even in the interior, but my god, I love this stuff, even more so than that, you know, even more so than his interior work in the DC War books. His cover, his gray wash, gray tone, DC War covers are awesome, okay, for those that are familiar with those, but man, 
I think this stuff is great. Another artist that are made, made for this genre. Look at this. Beautiful. The first time I flipped through this, I almost thought that it was Alex Toff. Toff? 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But right there, you know, the way that panel looked, that, that was my first impression. The way the, the, the woman in the story, the style. That was my first guess. I did not guess the right artist the first time I flipped through this magazine. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic panels right there. Look at that. And that is it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video.